Pancreatitis is the most common complication after endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, ERCP. Post-ERCP pancreatitis, PEP, occurs in 1 to 40% of cases, typically 5 to 7% with higher rates in high-risk populations. Severe pancreatitis has been reported in up to 6% of patients who develop PEP and can be fatal. The placement of prophylactic pancreatic stents has been reproducibly demonstrated to be effective in reducing the risk of PEP by approximately two-thirds in at least 14 randomized controlled trials. In addition, prophylactic pancreatic stenting has proven to be cost-effective in patients at high risk of PEP. Once PEP occurs, management generally consists of supportive care only. The course is highly variable but may include progression to necrosis or, at the very least, to a prolonged hospital stay. As prophylactic pancreatic stent placement has been consistently demonstrated to be effective in reducing the risk of PEP, it seems reasonable that if a pancreatic stent is placed very early after the onset of PEP, a similar effect could be possible in ameliorating the course of pancreatitis. Only a few data have reported this approach. Two abstracts and a single published case series involving six patients, which demonstrated that insertion of a small caliber pancreatic stent early during the course of PEP was a safe and potentially effective procedure. Premature migration out of the pancreatic duct into the lumen, especially of unflanged stents, might be associated with delayed onset of PEP due to secondary obstruction of flow at the pancreatic orifice. There have been no previous reports of immediate replacement of outwardly migrated or oculated pancreatic stents for amelioration of PEP. Based on the hypothesis that early pancreatic stent placement or replacement might ameliorate the course of PEP, the current study aimed to assess the outcomes of a strategy of salvage pancreatic stent placement or replacement for patients with severe pain, systemic inflammatory response syndrome, SIRS, and hyperenzymemia after ERCP over a three-year period. Background and study aims. Urgent placement or replacement of pancreatic stents shortly after endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, ERCP, might attenuate the course of evolving post-ERCP pancreatitis, PEP. Patients and methods. Salvage ERCP with de novo pancreatic stent placement or replacement of outwardly migrated stents was performed within 2 48 hours in patients with evolving PEP accompanied by severe pain, systemic inflammatory response syndrome, SIRS, and major elevations in serum amylase and lipase. Serial pain scores, amylase and lipase levels, and hospital course were studied. Results. PEP, according to Cotton Consensus Criteria, developed after 64, 2 percent, of 3,216 ERCPs over three years. Of the 64 patients with PEP, 14 underwent salvage ERCP, 5 without, and 9 with prior pancreatic stents, 7 of which had migrated outwards prematurely. All patients had SIRS and a high score, more than 3, for the bedside index for severity in acute pancreatitis. Median clinical onset of PEP was at 5 hours, range 0 to 68 hours, in patients with prophylactic pancreatic stents versus 2 hours, a range 0 0.5 to 2.5 hours, in patients without prophylactic pancreatic stents, P is less than 0.05. Salvage ERCP was performed at a median of 10 hours, into quartile range, 2.4 to 22.7 hours. Improvement in pain, amylase, lipase, and resolution of SIRS were statistically significant at 24 hours after salvage ERCP, P equals 0 0.003. Median length of hospital stay was 2 days, IQR 1 through 4.75, no necrotizing pancreatitis or late complications occurred. Conclusion
urgent salvage ERCP with de novo pancreatic stent placement or replacement of migrated stent is a novel approach in the setting of early PEP and was associated with rapid resolution of clinical pancreatitis and reduction in levels of amylase and lipase.